If you guys are looking to buy cheap and reliable coins, make sure to check out my sponsor, redzonecoins.com. Use code Noble at checkout for 15% off your purchase. Link is in the description. What's up today, my fellow man soldiers? So what I'm gonna be doing right now is showing you guys how I go about getting millions of coins. And yes, before I get into this video, let me explain to you guys that I won't even say half of my coins now, but just to be modest, let's just say half of my coins came from me opening up packs, okay? And that was really in the beginning. It just, I go about my team, uh, building my team in a smart way, which I'm going to show you guys right now. However, I do grind a lot and it's been a while since I even opened up any packs, right? Because the packs have to be really good for me to open up and what's been going on lately, I don't even care for the packs, just to let you guys know that. And I been I did plenty of videos already showing you guys, I mean, within a couple of days, how I make about like 200K, right? From grinding out the game. So anyways, if you guys can, please drop a like on the video. Help me get this video out to other people who also need this information. And if you haven't yet, please hit that subscribe button and that notification uh, bell right next to it to get notified each and every time I upload a video. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get right into it. So you see got 18 unopened up packs. I'll say about seven of those are gonna be like player packs and stuff. We're gonna open them up towards the end. We're gonna see what we pull from that. So stay tuned from that. So the first thing I do, you can either go to the solos or field pass. I always go to the field pass first because you want to make sure as you're grinding out solos, head to head, um, solo battles and stuff like that, that if there's any objectives you got to complete, you want to make sure you be able to complete them as you're grinding because you don't want to be grinding just for nothing if you could be able to complete a lot within that solo or game, whatever you're playing, right? So you see right here, I already maxed out my season pass. I got tons of coins. I got packs. You see this? Uh, Pro Elite Pack, I have it right now, I'm gonna open it up. Hopefully I get something glitchy. So that's actually what I've been doing. So that's how I've been making my coins also. Just wanted to show you guys real quick. And then I got my competitive pass, which is, um, uh, I got 140 competitive points. My next one is about 50K XP, right? I don't even need the XP no more because I'm already maxed out. So you guys see right here, I been, I get, I got more pack. I got a red zone pack coming. I think I got like two of them. 94 BND Weekly White Car Fantasy. I got a random rare strategy. So I've been grinding out and getting my coins from these. So this is where I've been getting them at. And then you got the Gridiron Guardians Pass, which I'm about to get another 95 overall. But look, you get coins, XP, 88 pluses, which either I keep it for training or sell it depending on what I pull. I think the last time I pulled like a 92 overall, and you guys seen the video. So I was able to sell it for like about like, I think 50, 60K. So I got some coins for that. I think the market dropped a little bit since then, but that's how I do it. If I'm able to make about like 20 plus K coins, I'll sell the cards I pull. But if it's only going for like 10 to 15 K, for some of you guys, that'll be good because you need any coin you can. But with me, I got enough coins. So what I do is I convert it to training. I'll just save it up and then I'll open up a train variety pack or 88 plus pack or something like that. And hopefully I'll pull something glitchy. And then if I don't do that, then what I do, I mean, if I, if I don't pull anything glitchy, I'm sorry. I don't get mad because it was all free anyway. Like all that training you see up there, it's all free. I do not buy training. In previous mans, I did because you had to power up cards. So yes, you need a training and a lot of training in order to power up cards. But this Madden, it's like, as long as you keep it with like 20, 30, 20, uh, 20 to 25K, you're good. Because all I use my training for is ability. So keep that in mind. So the rest of it, I let it stack up and then I'll go open up training variety packs and other packs with it. And that also gives me coins too. And you guys actually see me open up the training variety packs and I'll end up, prop not gonna, I want to say profit, but I'll make about over 200K coins, which to me is, is pretty good because it's all free to me. And then I grind out my Super Bowl pass, playoff pass, and you guys already seen that I'm already maxed out on my Super Bowl pass. I got it. This 94 overall Super Bowl Hero Fantasy pack was the, was the actual auctionable one. So I sold that player off and got me some coins. And I got more coins and so forth. So I was able to grind and get that done, right? So the newest program right now is the Gridiron Guardian. But you could go back and play the Super Bowl and playoff pass if you haven't did it and get you guys some coins from that. All right. So now that I showed you that, let's go to... Uh, Head to head. I go up and down just to let you guys know. I'll go up into um, what veteran. I, sometimes I go all the way up to legend. I go down. It depends on on how I'm feeling, whatever the case may be. Right now, I think I'm veteran, right? And I only show you guys this, or I'm all star, right? I only show you guys this because I'm not the greatest player, and I'm not gonna try to make myself seem like I'm the greatest player because I mean it, it'd be no point. 
And so I'm just showing you guys that you guys are grinding and go ahead and get you guys some coins too. It's not that hard, right? Yeah, at this moment, my team is pretty juiced, but I'm going to be honest with you guys. My team is only juiced because I do content and I show you guys the best way you could build your team and do stuff like that. But you guys already know throughout the whole season, I had a mediocre squad and I was winning tons of games. I just figured it'll be fun to build a 98 squad and some, I won't even use that all the time. I'll use other teams, but it just more for you guys. But in the end, you guys, as long as you have like a 90 plus, you should be able to go out there and win games. It, it, it shouldn't be that hard. But check it out though. I'm on All Star, which I already got. I, I literally went down. I don't think I went down to rookie. It's been a while, but I went down all the way to veteran. I haven't been down to pro for a while, but veteran went down to veteran. Then I'm going back up, right? Because I get frustrated. I quit out so forth. But you see right here, on even on All Star, here's the wins. Um, one win. You, oh, I'm sorry. This is uh, what's this? Is this Super Bowl? Oh no no no. Who's on? One no 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 no. That's per event. I'm sorry. Per game. Let's go ahead like that. So per game you're gonna get two thousand coins, and then per an event, right? Once you complete the event, here it goes here. Like say for instance, I get one win, and then I end up losing the other three. Well, it'll give me six k coins just for completing that event. Same thing right here. If I get two wins and I end up losing three, and, I, and my 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 games reset, I'll get eighty five hundred coins. So even that. So I get five wins, I'll get 18,000 coins, which I did yesterday because I went all the way up. Check this out. I went all the way up to a, a playoff game. On my second playoff game, right before my Super Bowl, my internet went out for like 10 minutes. I had to go reset it and fix it. Oh, I was like, you got it. I wasn't too mad, but it was just more the fact of like, man, like I don't always get that far, right? I'm, I'm going to be honest with you guys. I, I don't really get that far. Now let's go ahead and go to challenges. Because I'm going to go ahead and show you guys the challenges. Check this out. I, some of you guys are going to be like, look it. I already did all my challenges. I already got nothing done. How I like playing solos. Like, how do I? Check this out. If you guys really want to, create another account. You give you all fresh, all fresh solos. Go down. The first thing I'll tell you to play once your, once your solos open up. After, after you play your, I say, we'll say, uh. It's gonna be your starter solos, right? You want you need to get your starter solos done for your souls to open up here. Start your ultimate team, get those out the way. It'll really don't give you much, but it'll open up your levels and it'll open up other stuff and play the first rounds of the team captain, which will take you like five minutes. Get that out the way. Then your solo should open up, right? But right after that, you guys already know. Do the team of the week. Get all the players, because you get this done within an hour, two hours, right? Every single team of the week, and you get tons of cards from it. And then you could use that team to complete the rest of the solos, right? Or you could quick sign for training, whatever the case may be, and then go ahead and open up some training variety packs. But I'll, I'll tell you guys to hold off on it first. Keep the team of the week team that you're gonna get from all the solos to help your team. Go to these legend solos and get every single one done. Look at you're gonna get 85 overall boom players, 85, 86, 87s, 88s, and 89s. And I did a video on this, letting you guys know just from these solos alone, I got over 100k training. And because you're starting from week one, you'll be able to get even more training as well as tons of other coins and stuff because you're going to be grinding out the other solos. Then you're going to be completing objectives in the field pass and you guys are going to be getting tons of coins from that. If you guys want to open up a new account, grind out a whole fresh series of solos and go ahead and just, you know, get your get your training and other stuff and then you can transfer it over to another team if you want to do it that way, right? So that's if you guys want to do that. That's another way to do it. If you guys already complete all your souls but for those who haven't get those legend ones out the way and get the newest ones that you guys can out the way because you're going to get tons of cards and you'll be able to you could sell them in the auction house because they're auctionable um those legend ones the boom ones or you could quick quick, quick sell them for training like i did and open up training variety packs and try to pull something so that's how you guys could do it also all right so last but not oh oh i'm not even done yet hold on hold on here because i always show you guys how much coins I won't say how much coins I made because they don't let me keep, like for instance, from the from playing the head-to-head, -head, before they'll give you guys like a, a quick sell, but now they give you the coins automatically. I wish they had the quick sells. I used to love saving them for you guys to show you how much coins I made from head-to-head -head also, but they have, look at, as we're speaking, 25K coins. These are from my daily objectives. I do them every day. And look at, I've been saving uh, quite a bit of these coins. So they're in my item binder, and we're gonna see what we made. And also, I, I don't think, I haven't even got, I, haven't, I just thought about it right now. I haven't even got rid of the Super Bowl ones yet. I haven't even quick sold them yet. So I still got those coins too. 
And I just thought about that right now. That's that's kind of crazy. I didn't get rid of my, my Super Bowl ones. That's that's kind of odd. All right, so we're gonna go to collectibles. And I'm gonna show you guys how much I made just from that. This is just from the grind out the game. So let's go to collectibles. Thank goodness they have it now because for a while they didn't have it. So look it. Here we go. Look at that. I got that. I got another 25k in here too, just to let you guys know. But I'm I'm happy that I, loyalty token. Oh, that's the loyalty token. Number from the Ultimate Legends. Here we go. Here, look at more more coins. Just to show you guys how I I, I grind. Look at it. Then we get th we got these other ones from the Super Bowl that I haven't got rid of yet. These were all free. We're gonna do it right now. Some of you guys already got rid of them. I totally forgot about these. I'm gonna be honest with you. I totally forgot. We got these right here. Look at that. More. Where's the other 25k? I know I had another one for the coins. Maybe I didn't. I thought I did. Did I already click on it? Because I, I got pulled out 25k right now for the coins. But I thought I had another one. It doesn't matter. But check out how much coins I made. Look at that. 103k coins. And I didn't even show you all the other coins that I was able to make because they don't give me quick sells for them no more to save them for you guys. And this is just for this from grinding out the game. 103k already. 103k. I'm telling you guys, man, I'll be grinding. So now let's go open up these packs and we're going to see what we open up from those. We're not even done yet. We're not even done yet. Here we go right here. We got a Twitch pack, drop pack. Even though it's torture to watch that Twitch nowadays when it comes to the, the morning, good morning uh, Madden. Um, I still do it. See what we get. And then, hope, okay, I, I really don't care for these cards. Nothing really extravagant, but they're free. And then we're going to get these. Uh, we'll open up the midfield pack, red zone pack, and then the pro elite pack, right? What we got going on here? 81, horrible. All right, so this 86, I'm going to go ahead and sell it off. Give me some training. So I have 2,100 training. The rest we don't care for. Now we got this red zone pack. Yeah, I see this is how I be, how I do it. 85, 88, 88's good. 83. Okay, so I'm gonna quick sell that. I'm a quick sell the 88. I'm a quick sell the 85. Give me 7400 training. And I'm not gonna do it in this video, but I'm gonna let my train stack up. And then once I'm once I get, I'll say over 200k, I'll open up some packs with the training for you guys. 79 all that animation just for a 79 that that infuriates me okay so we got a 84 you know what I, i'm gonna hold on to the uh, you know what i'm gonna get rid of this 84 i got plenty of 84s right now i usually keep them for certain sets now we got this pro elite one hopefully it's glitchy man because this is supposed to be a good pack oh what's this 89 i think i could i could get some good coins for that i don't know i don't i think the 88s we could bro oh i got a 92 though check that out look at that I'm telling you guys this is going for what 69k 60k you know what i'm gonna go ahead and sell it for 59k how about that hook someone up they'll buy that real quick there we go hook you guys up get your card get your card right there all right here we go so how much is this william perry going for so i already made 69 30, nah, 35k don't seem right also, he varies, right? So sometimes 35, 17, 16. I'll say 17 and 16 seem to be about right. But I don't care for that. Like I told you guys, I'm going to go ahead and just get the training. If it's usually like 20K or more, I'll go ahead and do it. But even 20K sometimes. But I, I, I usually would do it. But anything less than that, I don't. I got this BND pack too. If you guys want to see it, it's, the, it's from the competitive pass. Oh, no. Yeah, it's from the, yeah, it's from the, it's from the, it's from the competitive pass. I thought this was, for some reason, I was thinking Team of the Week in my head. But this is a wild card, uh, the wild card weekly. Any of the 94s. And it shows you guys the weeks that they're offering. So that's actually pretty cool. I haven't picked no one yet. But most likely, I'm going to go with the kicker because I already got him. And I'm going to sell my 94 kicker that I got. So anyways, there it is right there. That's how I go about making my coins. I grind all the time. I don't care what how many coins. I, I always grind because I like keeping my coin stack up and uh keep adding to it and i only buy players that i need but recently i did add up i did uh, juice up my squad so i'm gonna let you guys know but i did it for you guys because i wanted to make the first 98 overall 50 out of 50 dallas cowboy team team so i was able to accomplish it and it's just more for you guys because it's like entertainment to show you that you can do it so for those who want to want to copy it you guys can but for those who don't who don't you can just check it out to know that it's possible right now some people got 99s but it's not a cowboy theme team this is the 50-50 Cowboy theme team, 98 overall. My goal towards the end is to get a 99 overall Cowboy theme team, and I'm starting now. So thank you guys all for tuning in. You guys all have a nice day. I'm out.